He's found a whole box of Don and Eaton kebab. Look at that, so they're, uh, they're treating themselves. Just rolled up to a Blackpool North train station. And just look at this, one of the older, the old steam engines. And good morning, welcome back to a brand new video. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a, a bit of a look around town, see what it's like the day after the opening of the Christmas market, because Strictly Come Dancing Stars are also in Blackpool, so we see more spot any of those. We're gonna have a bit of a look around, but first of all, you can see Mr. Basris. There's already a queue foreman outside the building ready to get a, a spot of lunch. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on and uh, we're gonna have a, a look around town, look around uh, a few streets and just see what's happening on this uh, bit of a breezy Saturday morning. Street, and you can see a lot of these properties um, one by one they've been uh, purchased by the council, compulsory purchased. And uh, yeah, this is uh, ready for the project which hangs in the balance at the moment. But uh, you can see there's a still a couple, there's even one there. They've got the, uh, the Christmas decorations up in that window, so uh, they've uh, probably refused all, all reasonable offers at this time. But yeah, this is uh, the whole of this street and uh, also adjoining streets have been uh, completely um, boarded up, ready for, uh, for the, uh, the university project. So, like I said, there's still, still a couple dotted about um, but I refused it. So there is building work going on just near the uh, the new building in uh, in the town centre, and that's certainly uh, certainly a project. So I believe there's uh, going to be another car park going to be uh, built around this area. I'll just uh, cross over the road very quickly, and uh, yeah, see the uh, the tower just in the uh, in the distance as we uh, zigzag towards uh, the town centre. So yeah, this is a. Uh, like, the, the, all these uh, places are going to be uh, sort of compulsory purchased. You can see uh, many of them are boarded up and uh, ready for the, uh, the new development. What well, hopefully will be going ahead and uh, all finalised very soon. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Millbourne Street, straight ahead. And uh, this one, it leads into uh, to where the cash converters is and uh, eventually leads to St John's Square. So we're just uh, on Adelaide Street now. You can see uh, this building is uh, is now sort of closed up off just off South King Street. And uh, so it once used to be a little uh, pharmacy. Look at that. I'm not too sure how long that's been uh, that's been closed for. Yeah, there used to be a, a little pharmacy there. Imagine you know, maybe that's a little hatch where you got your prescriptions from. Looks like it used to be a window, it's a hatch of some sort now. And uh, to this uh, this huge building it looks a lovely building as well as uh, has sadly sadly closed its doors so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll carry on walking down adelaide street uh, and like i said zigzag i'll walk to, uh, talk towards the uh the town center you don't normally sort of film around this uh, this area and there's an entrance there to the uh, to the winter gardens 
and uh, that's where all the uh, remember we had the uh, the darts world match play. Uh, so all the stars and the big names enter through through that door. Uh, so they don't use the other door. That's for, like uh, the crowd seeing the shows and the uh, the event. But yeah, this is the the entrance. Uh, all the uh, all the superstars use, and uh, we did get a glimpse of a, a few players um, back in a previous video. Look at that one, Beaton Villas, luxury holiday apartments. And uh, that was uh, opened in 1883. There's a little sign just above the, uh, the door. 1883, so yeah, so well over 140, 141 years old. That's, uh, that's incredible. Some of these are old buildings, you know, really, really something special. And again, we, you know, we've got plenty of little guest houses, all still, uh, all still open, which is, uh, which is fantastic, all along this street and uh, the, uh, the other street, which we're uh, just about to join on. Like I said, it's always great, you know, uh, seeing these still open. So we'll have a walk down a couple more little streets, and like I said, uh, it will lead on to the, uh, the town centre. So yeah, we've got the, uh, the Albert Hotel just to the, uh, the left. And then we've, also, we've got many of them, Vista Sol. All sorts of things. It's always great to see, you know, these little uh, guest houses still open today. So there's a, a strong smell of cannabis whiffing out one of the uh, so one of the hotels or guest houses. But yeah, like I said, we're, we're going to head to town. And hopefully, we might see a, a few of the uh, the stars not promising, but we'll certainly uh, we'll certainly try our best. Just have a, a look at that one, the old, uh, the Guardian newspapers. That's amazing, you know, remember little stores like that selling all the, uh, the, all the local newspapers in the town centre. And just, uh, just beyond this building, you can see the, uh, the tower, but also you can see the, uh, the sign there, where uh, Sports Direct is in his it phrases. It's amazing how the, uh, the old signs are uh, still dotted around. Um, the old town. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Like I said, we are snaking towards uh, the town centre, but it's just nice to, uh, to have a look what's uh, what's gone on in the past, what's new in Blackpool around some of the uh, some of the streets. So yeah, we're going to hit the town centre now and just see uh, what's going on and what's new near the town centre. So this is the uh, the site of the old pound stretchers, and that's been gone for for many years, and looks like they've got boarding up. So Possibly something might be uh, happening with uh, with that one. And, uh, I'm sure this used to be uh, an Argos, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm sure this used to be an Argos at one stage. Might be completely wrong. Yeah, looks like that's uh, I'm too sure if it's in use. To be fair, there's uh, there's lights on there, so uh, it says assessment centre. Not too sure what that um, what that is now. Yeah, looks like the uh, the old pound stretcher is uh, getting some work done, so it'll be exciting to see what that uh, opens as. So we're just near the old uh, Bonnie Street Market, and who would like to see this one reopen? So it's been closed for uh, a couple of years now, and it was empty, the, uh, the space inside. But you can see there's all, all sorts of like vans being uh, parked in here now, so whether they've got like, some sort of permit or something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, you see, there's a load of vans now being parked in here. Yeah, this is just inside the uh, the Bonnie Street market. You see, some of these uh, number plates uh, are not even from uh, the UK. So I'm not too sure what's going on with this one, but like I said, there's all sorts of uh, cars and uh, everything parked uh, in the old Bonnie Street market. So we just uh, just approached the uh, the old police station and you see there's nothing, uh, nothing formal um, being going on with this one yet in regards to the uh, date of the demolition. I think they're still trying to get the, uh, the contractors and uh, obviously get everything uh, set up. But yeah, that's the, uh, the old police station. You see, it looks like uh, possibly security just on top of the, uh, the bridge there. 
and he loves a, a chair as well. So I remember the, they have a sort of bit of a sit down and the, the guarding this throughout the day and night. Who knows? But yeah, the old police station, uh, there's nothing concrete, shall I say. It's a bit ironic because it's a concrete building um, when this is going to be uh, demolished. So it was sheltered by the uh, the breeze, but now uh, we've uh, descended on the uh, the choppy seas, and you see it's a little choppy day and uh, a little windy as the uh, the big one spins round in the uh, in the distance. You see the uh, the sea looks like the uh, the tide is going out, but it is a little choppy today. just arrived at the uh, Blackpool Christmas market and you can see even in the uh, daytime it's still uh, lovely and busy so we're just near the uh, comedy carpet and this is like right in the middle of the uh, Christmas market and you can see there's so many people still you know having a look around grabbing their sandwich and their coffee and just taking the atmosphere in but this certainly comes alive more at night time and all the lights and the displays are on it just uh, adds to the uh, the atmosphere of the uh, of the wonderful event uh, that is our blackpool tower and you can see people are already queuing up outside just to uh, grab a bit of a glimpse of if uh, one of the stars come out just to say hello and maybe grab a picture with them so you still see like i said people have been queuing up for hours uh, on this one there's all the uh, all the technology. See the uh, huge satellites, and uh, that's the, uh, the like I said, the nerve centre of uh, Strictly Come Dancing. So you can see Blackpool. You know, it's uh, it's quite busy for a very very early afternoon on a Saturday. So now, what a what a lovely day it is today just to uh, take that stroll and uh, enjoy uh, the magic of Christmas by the sea 2024. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head over towards St John's Square where that lovely Christmas tree awaits us. Uh, sadly, we didn't get any of uh, the stars of Strictly today. I'd imagine they'll be, uh, be uh, performing hard uh, for the, uh, the competition. And it's the 20th anniversary, I believe, of uh, Strictly Come Dancing. So that is uh, absolutely amazing. Just going to uh, head up to uh, to St John's Square and see these uh, police presence uh, in Blackpool already. So I'm not too sure what that's about, but won't uh, won't worry ourselves too much. So here I'm going to, like I said, keep heading forward, and you can see the uh, the town centre is actually quite busy. Everyone's probably like I said, grabbing the uh, grabbing the bargains for Christmas and getting everything prepared so it's a it's a worry less let's just a uh, pan the camera around to the uh, right hand side you see the grand theater there still that uh, work is being carried out so st john square and you see the, uh, the tree is lit up so we'll have a, a bit of a look at that and there's a guy there and he's certainly in a, a colorful outfit he's, uh, look at that the, uh, the old red bowl hat looks like, and uh, he's certainly in there. He's certainly uh, colourful. So yeah, let's have a look at this tree. You see the uh, lights are on. So we haven't seen this in the uh, in the night time or well, late evening. I imagine that will look spectacular. And uh, well, like I, said, I always mentioned this before. It's a lovely fitting place to have a tree right next to uh, the church. 
they uh, certainly do scavenge these. Look at that one. I think he found a bit of Donna kebab and chips. There you see him in the, uh, in the tray there. Look at that, yeah, he's found a, he's found a whole box of Donna meat and kebab. Look at that, so they're, uh, they're treating themselves. Wow. So just about as we're gonna end the video, what a wonderful little find just rolled up to a Blackpool North train station. And just look at this, one of the older, the old steam engines. How amazing does that look? So this is just rolled up into a Blackpool North. So it's, uh, it's finally off, and uh, what a sight. Wow. So that is uh, the end of today's video. So it's uh, a bit of a look around town, a few streets, like I said, some fantastic, lovely little bed and breakfasts, lovely little guest houses along our way. And uh, we'll just end with the, uh, the tower and the tree. Because in the, in the picture, they're more, more or less the same height. And how deceiving uh, is that one? So yeah, hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you haven't seen Christmas by the Sea opening, um, it is on our channel. I'll pop a link in the description. Go and have a look at that. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, we do like these uh, sorts of videos we do put out. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. Hit the like button, any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.